Hi everyone, my name is Prentice Rollins and welcome to my series of four short drawing tutorials. Just to tell you a little bit more about myself, I've been a professional illustrator and comics artist for 30 years now. I've worked for DC and Marvel Comics, Walt Disney Productions, and my art books and graphic novels have been published by Tor Books, the Monticelli Press, Watson Guptill Books, IDW Top Shelf, and many others. And for the past year and a half, I've been teaching comics art and drawing online for outclass education. I started drawing when I was about six years old, and it's been a constant joy and passion for me ever since. In this series of four tutorials, I'm going to be talking about some of the most basic and important drawing skills I know of in a way that's fun, simple, and I hope very clear. I'm going to be talking about perspective, light and shadow, some basic rendering techniques, and I'm going to give you a lightning tour of drawing the human face. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy this. Our first lesson is going to be on one, two, and three point perspective. So, without any further ado, let's draw. So I'm using my Cintiq tablet here. It's an art tablet hooked up to my computer. This is the stylus I use, and uh, this glove that I'm wearing allows my hand to move easily over the surface and doesn't get it dirty. You do not have to have a tablet and stylus, but if you want to draw on paper, that's great. I'm, most of my art I do on paper. I'm simply using the, um, the tablet here um, because it makes these short lessons uh, go much more quickly. So I'm going to start by talking about one point perspective. Perspective uh, is the science of making objects drawn on paper and in paintings look real and authentic. Uh, and it was discovered in the West, at least, in the Middle Ages. Um, I'll start by showing you some really elementary concepts. This is the horizon line. As you can see, this line going across, and uh, it separates, you know, sky from land. The horizon line is the sort of imaginary line where the sky and the land converge. Okay. <clears throat> now let's get rid of that. What I'm drawing right now is that's called a vanishing point and it is a point drawn on the paper anywhere you want arbitrarily chosen by you I'm going to draw some lines of sight. And I'll make some going up into the air. And you'll notice that they all point to and converge on our vanishing point. They all radiate out of it. Now I'm going to use, pick a different color for this. Sorry about this. Technical difficulties. Um, okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to now. Um, I'm going to use these again. Um, these are 
write that right up here, lines of sight. They all point towards the vanishing point. And now, with those lines of sight and the vanishing point, I can begin to draw an object. I'm going to draw a simple cube. Turn that a little bit. In proper one point perspective. It's just a box. And you'll notice that these lines converge along with these lines of sight and are parallel with it, while the side and the bottom edges are straight up and down. And now, I can add a little shadow to make this object look even more real. So this is simple one-point perspective. It's called one-point perspective because it uses only one vanishing point right there. Now let's move on to two-point perspective. For two-point perspective, it's just exactly what it sounds like. You have one vanishing point and then another. And these are both placed wherever you want them to be. And now I'm going to do lines of sight again using my ruler tool here on the computer to make things go easier. <clears throat> As you can see, the lines of sight now cross over each other in this interesting way. And when you're learning perspective, you're going to be actually drawing these lines of sight using a ruler if you're working with paper and a pencil. And, you know, it will help you to, um, to get used to drawing things in proper perspective. But once you become familiar with perspective and are comfortable, you no longer have to put these lines of sight down. They just kind of um, clutter up your page, but they're great for practicing with. Okay, no, let's see, I need to do this. Um, Now I'm going to actually start drawing a simple object in two-point perspective. And I'm just basically drawing a lot of these lines, all of them actually, except for the vertical up and down ones. They're all constrained by the vanishing points and the lines of sight. I'll put a second one taller right here. Now, as you can see, these already look a lot more real than, um, than the simple one-point perspective drawing because they are converging in space 
in two directions, towards this first vanishing point and towards the second. These almost look like buildings on a street. I can even put doors, windows. And I can even add street. Another one here. So as you can see, just by using this um, pretty simple tool, two-point perspective, we've very quickly gotten the beginning of a pretty authentic looking street scene. So that's two-point perspective. Let me uh, two-point. Okay. So let's move on to, finally, um, three-point perspective. Okay, so I'm going to leave these two vanishing points from our previous drawing and we're going to add one more vanishing point. Um, now, where do we add the vanishing point? It's entirely arbitrary. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my canvas here a little bit bigger. I'm going to pull this down. And I'm going to add a third vanishing point down here. So now we have three vanishing points. One, two, and three. And this is going to enable us to draw um, a building that is even more convincing first thing I want to do is I want to give this vanishing point some of its own lines of sight. The lines of sight are always radiating out from your vanishing points. So they're going to be coming up like this. And I'm going to give them a slightly different color. So we don't get too confused. Okay. Now I'm going to start to draw again a simple object, in this case. Um, We'll say it's a building. And let's start with the rooftop. Now, as you can see, these lines are all constrained by these two vanishing points. These, this edge and this edge point towards this one. This edge and this edge point towards this one. And now I'm going to start sketching in the lines that represent the sides of this building. And this is going to be a tall building. This is a skyscraper. And the lines of the bottom, I'm going to have to use my imagination and just continue this 
but the basic idea here is these lines that I'm drawing, this line I'm drawing right now is constrained by this vanishing point here. This bottom edge is constrained by that vanishing point, and the sides are constrained by this vanishing point, which is underground. Okay, let's do one more building here. So every line that I'm putting in is constrained by one of these three vanishing points. Turn my canvas a little. I'm going to put one building. I'm going to have one of these buildings actually break the horizon line. This line that I'm putting in right now is constrained by pointing towards that vanishing point. And that one is pointing towards this vanishing point. So as you can see, this is even an, an even more convincing depiction of space. And that's what we're doing here. We're drawing space and the objects that fill it in a way that is real and authentic. It's much more exciting to make things look real and authentic than to have them look just um, kind of made up and sloppy. And put some windows. If I had more time, I would um, talk about drawing human bodies in perspective. That's a whole other subject. Once you get the hang of this, once you master these basic concepts of horizon line, vanishing point, and lines of sight, Those are the three main concepts I want you to take away today. Horizon line, vanishing point, and lines of sight. Once you practice with these things and sort of get used to them, they become second nature. and It's not, uh, it's not nearly as complicated as it sometimes appears. But practicing your perspective really pays off and it will make your drawing so much better pretty quickly with just a little bit of practice. Okay. So thank you very much, everybody. It's been a pleasure talking to you, and I hope to see you again at our next mini-tutorial. Bye-bye for now.